Good morning, YouTube. Hope everyone's having a great day out there, and specifically a happy Easter. The family and I are at a steakhouse called Andiron. Um, it's a wood fire, live fire grill steakhouse, which I guess is kind of a unique calling card. I'm not sure. But um, it's our first time here. We've never checked it out before. Um, it's a, this place looks very nice. We actually got our own private room. Which is great for our family as always. So um, just had a quick uh, peruse of the, uh, the menu. They have Wagyu, they have prime rib, um, they have antelope. But I'm um, definitely interested in seeing how everything here looks and tastes. So uh, pretty excited and hungry. Okay, trying the uh, deviled egg. This they said is a beef chicharron that you eat with the beef tartare. May I offer a little more bread for you all? Or how are we? Yes, please. Of course, no problem. Steak <laughs> tartare is good. Very fresh. The caviar is super good. Yeah, the only thing I like is the So, specifically, this is a beef tendon chicharron, which um, I don't think I've ever had that before. Why are you eating that by yourself? It's not very salty. It actually kind of has a very mild flavor, but it's very good. Beef tendon. Very good. This is their uh, sophisticated version of French fries. Just like in the uh, episode of the Cosby Show. All right, trying the Wagyu, A5 Wagyu toast. Really good. Toast is uh, buttered milk toast. Wagyu is very buttery. Melts in your mouth. The mint gives it a nice little kick. Really delicious. Okay, so time to try the entrees. This is the steak frites in a chimichurri sauce. My wife also got the uh, prime rib. Daddy's 
Tell me if it's like a truffle thing on there. You want to put a bathroom? Mm. Yeah, it tastes like butter. No, I put truffle meat because I, I put it on, on this no, sauce. No, you said if it's flesh, oh. it's oh, like it. Oh, you want us to try it? Yeah, you want us to try it? You just fat on this one. You want us to try it? Oh, okay. Try it. Oh, you want to try it? Oh, okay. Just let... I'll try it first, okay? This is really good. I'm going to try it first so you can eat it in case you don't like it. Uh, what is that? Here. Very good. So, yeah, I finally, I thought at first I'd, the piece of prime rib that my wife gave me had fallen into my chimichurri sauce. But I was able to finally confirm that there actually is some sort of sauce on her prime rib. The closest thing I would compare it to is like a truffle oil or a truffle butter which I don't really care for. The meat's good. It's very tender. It's juicy. So there, but there's a sauce um, on the meat that, for me, is not, it's not the best. So the um, steak frites and the chimichurri sauce, it's good. Uh, it's not fantastic, but it's good. Um, the prime rib, the quality of the meat, it is very good. But I think without the sauce, it would be, honestly, like five, five, ten times better. So we just uh, finished our entrees and we're wrapping up our meal. Um, I would give this on a Life of Brian scale, honestly guys, a 6 out of 10. The uh, Wagyu toast was excellent. My son really, I rated a 10. My son really enjoyed his, uh, his steak frites. What's up guys? The boys really enjoyed their entrees. Um, my wife's prime rib again had kind of a truffle oil, truffle butter something. Uh, on it that was and not the very, egg um, is very good. maybe not off putting, but it was we, we did not enjoy it. And the uh, devil egg is very good. The devil eggs were pretty good. The um, beef tendon chicharrones were interesting. Um, but um, yeah, overall, uh, service was good. Um, the food, and the French so, fries. The French fries were very unique and thick. Um, again, overall, I, I would give it a six out of ten. Um, maybe come check it out. The, the, what are the bread too? The bread was decent. The, uh, the wood fire grill um, selling point. I'm not really sure how much of a difference that makes, but you know, there were some highlights and some lowlights for sure. So come check it out for yourself, guys. Again, and iron. Um, they're actually usually closed on Sunday, but they're open for Easter brunch. So um, you know, definitely worth at least checking out and um, help you guys uh, enjoy the video. Give it a thumbs up, comment below, like, subscribe. Please support the channel. Catch you guys in the next video. Nope. Take care, bye-bye. Nope.